I'm too short, they can't hear me. <laughs> Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use these two websites right here. So the first one is willmydevicework.com and the other one is willmyphonework.net. So the first one that I'm going to be showing you, basically both of these websites are great tools to use if you want to know if your phone will be compatible on a certain network or if you want to know if a certain network will be compatible with the self with your cell phone with, or with the cell phone that you wish to purchase. So the first website we're going to take a look at is willmydevicework.com and for this example, we'll use one of the Xiaomi devices. So let's go, let's type in the Xiaomi. We'll look at the 4X dual SIM. It's one of the later Xiaomi devices. And for the country or carrier, we're going to type in a well-known one in Canada by the name of Rogers. So if you live in the United States, you would type in AT&T or Verizon or whichever carrier that you have. So they have, a, a, they, I, I'm pretty sure they have all the carriers within this website. So for this example, we'll use Rogers Canada. Let's do a search. And right now it's going to let me know if this phone will work. So as you can see here that where it says 2G, all the bands are supported. 3G, same thing with 3G. With a 4G LT, we see that only one band is supported. So it doesn't have all the bands, but we know that from this chart right here that this phone will work on the Rogers network. Now, not necessarily the best reception with the 4G LTE because it only does have one band. Now, a rule of thumb is the more bands that you have, the better the connectivity, the more reliable the cell phone will be on the network that you choose. But again, this phone will work on this network. So the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4X, let's try a different cell phone just to give you guys a good idea. So I can just erase all this. And for this other example, we'll type in Huawei since they are basically number two in China I guess so we'll try the Huawei P10 premium edition that is one of the later phones with Huawei and for the country or the carrier we'll type in a well-known one in the United States we'll type in AT&T so AT&T United States let's click on search and let's find out if this phone will work so looking at 2G 2G is not supported with AT&T with this phone 3G is supported and 4G LTE is supported besides for one band. So we know right off the bat that this phone will work pretty well actually, especially with the 4G LTE. It does support all of these bands. So we know that with the 4G LTE, it will be very reliable. It will work really well. So again, the Huawei P10 Premium Edition Dual SIM would work really well with AT&T. Now this next website that I want to show you guys is willmyphonework.net. So a lot of times on this website, they don't have all the phones. They do have a lot of the newer phones, but not, not some of the older phones. So if this be the case with you, then I would choose willmyphonework.net. I would check out this website. Here you basically select the brand. So let's look at, or you know what? Let's look at a strange brand by the name of Ucatel. So Ucatel is another Chinese brand. And uh, for the model, let's do Let's do the K7000, or you know what, the K6000 Premium. So for the country, we'll choose, so here we are, United States of America. And now over here, it is where it asks me for the carriers. So for this one, I will choose, let's choose, you know what, let's choose Verizon. We'll do a search there, for Verizon. And as you can see right here, 2G is not supported, 3G is not supported, and 4G LTE is not supported with this phone. Let's go ahead and try another carrier. We'll try Sprint. Let's do a search for Sprint. Again, the same thing, it will not work. So a lot of these Chinese brands will not work with the phones. That's why it is a good idea to always check. What about H2O Wireless? You know what, H2O Wireless uses AT&T. So let's go ahead and search that. So this phone will work only on the 2G network. So it does support two bands here, the 850 megahertz band, megahertz band and the 1900 megahertz band. And one more. I'm going to try one more. Let's try Cellcom. So Cellcom does not work. And one more just for the sake of this video. So let's try Virgin Mobile. So as we can see, the Ucatel will not work with a lot of the US carriers out there. But again, these both these two websites are great tools to see if your phone will work on if a Chinese phone or any phone will work on a particular network or a particular carrier. So guys, anyway, that is going to be it for this video. Hopefully it did help you out. If it did, leave a like. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.